November 2022, the world shook when a new technology was launched, ChatGPT. A lot of us had seen versions of generative AI before that, but it had never been very impressive. And then we see ChatGPT and suddenly we go, wow, this thing can write songs, it can write poetry, it can answer complex questions. And then it just gets better and better and better and better. We now know that this is gonna be one of the biggest disruptive technologies of our lifetimes. We know that this is what's called a general purpose technology. It's a technology that impacts every industry at every single level, and you need to be doing more with it. The reason I'm making this video is I wanna passionately encourage you to do more with AI in your business. I know that you're aware of AI. I know that you're doing some stuff with AI. I know that you're using it probably every week in one form or another, sometimes without even knowing it. But here's the thing, I want you to become more conscious of how to be more of an AI entrepreneur or an AI powered entrepreneur. So I wanna give you some ideas as to how you might do that so that you can start using AI more effectively. So here's the thing with AI. AI has two superpowers. It has the power to make you consume more than you intended. If you're listening to Spotify, it's gonna recommend the next song. That's gonna be the perfect next song compared to what you were just listening to, or if you're on Amazon, it's gonna recommend product. So it's really good at getting you to consume more than you intended to, and it's gonna get better at that. But it's also got the other superpower, which is the ability to get you to create better than you could have created on your own. It's going to get you to create videos and create scripts and create marketing materials and content. It's gonna help you with ideas. It's gonna help you to turn big ideas into legal contracts. So if you're using it as a creativity tool, you're going to build a better business much faster. So there's a few levels that I wanna talk about as to how you would use AI to create more than you ever thought possible. The first level is to treat AI as a free employee, right? Imagine that somebody is standing around the office, they are a graduate, they're smart, they're motivated, they're fast. Any job you give them, they're gonna be able to go away and do it. They're not gonna do it perfectly, they're gonna need you to have a bit of oversight. They're gonna need you to put finishing touches on, but that free employee is there to help with absolutely anything that you ask. So if you want to draft a contract, if you want to come up with a brainstorming list of potential uh, acquisition targets, if you want to create some marketing and sales scripts, all you have to do is talking to your free employee and letting that free employee collate the information that you need. So the first one is just using it more often. See if you can set yourself a task to use it day to day. With the new voice AI, you can put your headphones in, you can be working, you can be talking to it while you're at your computer, you're working, you're typing, and you can just be asking questions, it can be giving you answers, right? You can be collaborating with the AI without having to look down at your phone, right? So it's quite incredible to use it in that way. Try to find ways to just use it like it's a free employee day to day. But that's only really level one, and I'm guessing that you're already doing a lot of that anyway. Let's talk about level two. So level two is trying to incorporate it automatically into your marketing, your sales, your operations, and finding way to actually automatically trigger AI-generated content, AI-generated responses, as things are happening in your business, automatically AI is doing things without even being asked. So this is called process automation or AI-driven process automation, and this is really, really powerful. One of the things that you could be doing automatically is having AI agents that are in your business. So a customer service agent, when people ask a question, it comes back with a response. When people call in, you can have a voice AI that responds and many people don't even know that they're talking to a voice AI. So this is automated processes within your business. And what you're trying to do here is get the AI to do things that are triggered by just the activities of the business as opposed to you asking. The third level that you can use AI is to make it part of your product and service. One of the things that I really encourage people to do is to create a customer portal. It's a place where customers can log in and access information that relates to your business in their own unique little environment. And this is the perfect place to do an AI integration. So let's zoom out and talk about what you might do to create an AI product for your customers that's inside a portal. So imagine your customers log into a portal and inside that portal, there are forms where they enter information about themselves. The AI might ask them questions like, what are you trying to achieve? Or what problems are you trying to solve? So the customer puts in the information into that little form. Now what that does is it then goes and mixes it with special unique intellectual property that you've given behind the scenes. So imagine that you've got the customer information mixed with your knowledge and your intellectual property, your frameworks, right? Those two things get mixed. Then it sends it off to OpenAI or one of the other language models with the customer's information and your intellectual property. It then bounces back the information and gives something back to the customer that's worth way more than the information they gave. 
So for example, inside Score App, you may have seen that people can say, this is my customer, this is what I'm trying to do, this is who I am, and it then goes and writes the entire landing page and it writes the quiz questions and the dynamic responses. So what's happening behind the scenes is customer information, our intellectual property, off to AI, back into the portal, and then it gets rearranged for the customer to see what it's created. So essentially those three ingredients are the ingredients that you need in order to create an AI driven product. Customer information, your insights, your intellectual property, then fed to a language model and then back reassembled for the customer in the portal. That simple little idea could be all sorts of businesses. There are so many businesses that could be a portal. I bet your business could think of an AI portal. And if you do that, it's kind of like inventing something that runs on electricity at the birth of the electrical revolution. So a couple hundred years ago when they invented electricity, people started thinking, gee, I guess everything could run on electricity. We could have lighting that runs on electricity. We could have toasters that run on electricity. We could boil water with electricity. So people started thinking about all the uses for electricity. And it's the same now with AI. I want you to be thinking, what do you know about? What's your intellectual property and how could AI turn that into a living, breathing, dynamic product that your customers would be delighted by? If you can do those three levels, if you can look at using AI more often, having some processes automated inside your business with AI and building a customer portal that is powered by AI, you are gonna be so far ahead of this wave. You know, it's gonna be a big wave. Some people are gonna get dumped by this. Some people are gonna be surfing it. And I really want to encourage you to try to use AI more often, make some mistakes, that's totally fine because you're learning how to surf this new revolution. Don't get left behind, don't get dumped by this wave, get out there and learn to surf this wave. I really believe that AI has some strengths and some weaknesses, it's certainly disruptive, but it's here to stay. There's no taking it back, we cannot put that genie back in the bottle. So in which case, as entrepreneurs, we need to learn how to make the most of the times that we're in. I hope you found that useful. Leave me a comment below about how you're using AI and which level you're already playing at. Give this video a like and this channel a subscribe so that we can keep in touch and that we can keep sharing these ideas together. All the best, see you soon.